Let's have a look. Hello everybody, welcome. Just here, I needed to make up some more um, more of these uh, cut-off wires. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, these are made uh, approximately 12, 12 inches long. They have two wooden toggles one toggle which is a little bit bigger than the other so that the the heavier toggle the he the larger one always always hangs on the inside of your wheel tray like that and it just hangs over nicely just the right length and it's twisted of course uh, a twisted wire enables you to introduce air in underneath the pot and that's important to to be able to lift the pot off the wheel you need to get air in underneath so that's why we have a twisted wire so I, I spin these like this if I twist them you see on the wheel a bit of a fiddle to make but you sort of have to have a bit of a system you know I'm short of a hand, so I have to use my mouth. <laughs> I've got all the toggles, you see, already made. And um, It's a lovely day today. Ninth of March, and it's like it's like a May day. Okay, so once I've fastened the toggle on that end, the top end, the smaller toggle, what I do is I I spin it a few more turns. I give it some heat treatment to take the stress out of the wire, the wire, the nylon. I give it a few extra turns, you see, to tighten it up a bit, and then now cut off those the, the excess. Now, when I take it out of here. You see it spins, but it still is love beautifully. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Let's bring it in for a bit of detail. I know that somebody will be wanting to know how to make these. Well, you you should you should have a go at making them. Um, I do sell them on my on my website, of course. And you can go there and, and purchase one. So right, I've already got this, you see, the right length of nylon. So I locate the that piece, that toggle, into a piece of clay. Hold these two strands separately, spin the wheel, and let them, as they as they twist, you see how the wires are going round, the nylons are going round. Get it to where I want it, about the right length, and then put a couple of knots in it. It's the first thing you do. Once you've done that, do another knot for the toggle. You take the toggle, a 
slide the toggle into position like that and then I do three more knots one two three okay now without letting it unravel spin it up a bit more and give it some heat now these excess here I just trim off take it out of the clay and you'll see it spins there it is so that there 12 inches long I do I do encourage you to to have a cutoff wire that is the right length. If you have a cutoff wire that is the wrong length, if you have a cutoff wire like this, which is your standard cutoff wire, you're going to find number one, the toggles are miles too big. Number two, it's about 21 inches, 21 inches in length, which is far too long. Uh, so you've all the time got to wind it around your hands and that's going to handicap you. Another thing is it doesn't, it doesn't sit nicely anywhere, you see, it falls on the floor, it means you've got to, it's an unwieldy wire. But what you can do with those is throw them. <laughs> throw them onto your wedging table because that's where they belong, that's a wedging wire, it's not a throwing wire. Okay, so get yourself, get yourself a throwing wire. If that's what you need, you don't want a wedging wire on your wheel. If you understand my, my French. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't want a wedging wire on your wheel. Okay, you want a throwing wire. And that's the right length, that means it sits there nicely, you see. And when I, when I, when I need it to cut off, I, all, I just take it like that. It's immediately, immediately the right length. I haven't got to do any winding or anything. Okay, I can then operate with my thumbs down on the wheel head and cut through. Okay, and that'll make your pots also easier to lift off. It's just, it's just benefit all round, isn't it? So, Go to my website, you can buy them there, or have a go at making them. And I use for these, this I got at Walmart or some similar shop, 15 pounds, 15 pounds test, okay? 15 pounds and you're gonna to have to remember when you make it to have double because you've got to twist the two wires together. Okay? That's about it in a nutshell. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining us, folks. And please go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. We do have workshops there. You can see them up on my website. I have a workshop this weekend coming, March 12th and 13th. Uh, and we have spaces available, so please Please go there, have a look, and if you fancy, get in touch with me, write to me, say you want to come on a workshop. Hey, keep practicing, and I'll see you soon. Ooh. Let's see now.